Hey, GearHeads, it's Jeff with Gear Report. We're here at a prison, not where we normally go to talk to people. This isn't the conversation we're typically having with mm. people, but this is important. So I'd like to introduce Tom Cochran from Destiny Rescue. He's going to tell us why we're here at a prison. Why, why is this an appropriate backdrop for, for what you do? Yeah, thanks, Jeff. You know, the reality is, is that there's a million kids trapped in a, a prison of sexual slavery and exploitation around the world. Um, Destiny Rescue, we're, we're an organization that rescues kids out of that evil. Um, not only do we rescue them, we help them stay free. And in times, we're able to even bring justice to, the, to perpetrators, traffickers, and, and individuals. So that reality for us started 19 years ago. Um, our founder, an Australian, um, went into Thailand and heard that somebody had been offered a child to do with whatever that he wanted for 400 US dollars. Wow. Broke his heart and he said, that, that can't continue. I have to do something about that. So we started Destiny Rescue, um, where we rescue kids out of that evil. Um, we begin to do uh, counseling and education, help them walk a unique path to freedom. And in that, we've been able to see over 5,800 individuals go free wow. over that 19 years. Um, in the midst of COVID, rescued uh, 751. And wow. that, that reality happens a few ways. Our, our guys go out undercover into bars, brothels, places that we know kids are being exploited and sold. And we're able to bring freedom, identify who we are, what we do, and invite these kids to freedom. There's moments where our teams will gather intelligence and to bring justice, to bring a raid. Uh, an average raid uh, rescues about 13 kids on average. Wow. And uh, we're able to, to see some amazing things happen. Um, we are in Thailand, Cambodia, the Dominican Republic. Uh, we're launching five new rescue countries this year. One of those, we hope, is going to be here in the United States. Um, even some of the work that we do besides the raids and the uh, undercover work in bars and brothels, we are able to be on borders of some countries and stop kids from even mm. getting into this reality for them. Right. Um, we're able to right. prevent it. Like a young lady named Sonia. Sonia was 19 when she's talking to her dad on a bus. A guy overhears that she's looking for a job. He offers her a job. Um, in that process, he takes her information and she connects with him. He's promising work. She gets to cross. She's getting ready to cross the border of Nepal, and our team stops her, interviews her, and asks her what she's doing. Through that interview, where she's able to find out the reality of her almost being trafficked, she is so indignant and 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 motivated by that reality, where she says, "I've got to do something about this." Yeah. A year later, she actually becomes a law enforcement officer where she's arresting traffickers and she's helping prevent others like herself. We, young lady named Dao in Thailand where she, um, at the age of 12, was uh, trafficked into it. Her parents told her she needed to go find work to support her family. And she goes into thinking she's going to work at a restaurant and she was tricked and trapped to work into a bar where she was forced to sell herself multiple times a night. Oh and God. when our agents and team found her, offered her freedom, she's like, I don't know that I'm worthy of that. Uh. Um, because so many times the, the reality of this prison behind us helps us understand and frame the fact that these kids feel like they're broken, that they have no hope, they've been lied to, and they're constantly having to... to to fight for freedom and for safety. So they, they don't believe the truth when somebody says, no, you have worth, you have value, and we wanna do something to help you out. And, and so as we were able to work with Dow, she's now being able to say, I'm going to give myself to this work, and she's motivated, and she's leaning into to working with kids to help prevent this work. So it happens all over in the countries that we're at. Um, we're able to see some amazing life change happen, but it's because of individuals using their platform. You know, you may be asking the question, like, what, what can I do about this? The average cost to rescue a child is $1,500 US dollars. Um, many people become what we call rescue partner, which is the opportunity to give any dollar amount per month. Some say, hey, I want to I want to help bring justice to these kids and, and, and help them fight for freedom. So I want to fund a raid. The average cost of a raid is seventy three hundred dollars where you're rescuing 13 kids here at the Fire Expo. Because we're a, a partner with them, they're donating proceeds of the raffles uh, portion of the ticket sale. And they've already raised enough funds to rescue five kids.
Wow. Um, they're using their platform. So wherever you are, whatever walk of life you're at, whatever your business might be, maybe it's, hey, I want to bring awareness, share our social media on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, go to our website, destinyrescue.org. You can watch some of the raids that we've done, the footage that okay. we do. We have documentaries. Um, and you can also share um, any of our social media from that website as well to help people understand but then to say, hey, would you join me in raising up an army? Would you join me in, in supporting the cause so that we can rescue kids? Because there are a, at least a million kids trapped in this form of slavery around, around the world. Think about it like this. Sexual exploitation and trafficking generates $11 million an hour. The sale of kids for sex generates $11 million an hour. It, this year alone, the, the estimation is, is that it will out, outpace the sale of guns and drugs, the sale of humanity. And it's up to us to do something about that. That has to end on my watch. That yeah, has to end on yeah, your watch. Yeah. It has to be us all joining together because that's the only way we're going to be able to end the evil. So, so you listed some things that people can do. So the, within, within the Gear Report family, uh, you know, we're, we're normally talking to folks about gear. We're reviewing yeah. stuff, trucks or whatever, you know. Um, it, it's a, a piece of equipment. Is it going to make you happy or not? Um, that's, that's typically what we do. So we can translate what we do into a couple things. One is, like you said, using the platform to create awareness. Um, folks, it, uh, a, a little bit of money here and there may not mean a ton to you. Skip that Starbucks a, a couple days a month and, and send some money to, to help support this cause. That's an option for you. If you're one of the brands that we work with, um, I believe there's an opportunity to partner with you directly and supply gear that can help outfit those teams. Maybe Absolutely. bring down that cost to rescue a child yep. because some of that's going to be equipment, right? Right, for sure. Yeah. And and you can, you can um, my name is Tom Cochran, and you can reach out to us at destinyrescue.org. Um, I'd love to have a conversation with you and connect you with the, the immediate needs on the ground for our team, whether um, that's uh, electronics gear or it's uh, kits for our teams to stay safe when they're out doing some of these operations. We'd right. love, to, love to have that conversation. Yeah, absolutely. So you gave the website. What's the best way if someone is watching this and says, you know, I'm dying to donate, I'm dying to offer services or products or whatever, best way, most efficient way to get in contact with you would be what? Well, it would be my email address, tom.cochran at okay. destinyrescue.org. Good. All right. Thank you so Jeff, much for what you. you do. Thank you for taking the time. And, and it's not every day that I say, hey, man. Hop in the truck, ride to a prison with me. Trust me, it'll be okay. But you did it. I did. That's good. And for a good cause, thank you so much. And um, I want to thank the folks here putting on the Fire Expo. This is ForceCenterUSA.com is where you can find them. We're in Immokalee, Florida. Um, and you said an Australian founder, but you are personally based in Florida. Is, it, is the brand, is the company? Uh... So Destiny Rescue has uh, three, what we call funding nations. Uh -huh. So Australia, New nice. Zealand, and the United States. Okay. Our U.S. office is out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Got but it. I moved, uh, my wife and I moved down here a year ago to, to open up our Southeast U.S. Gotcha. office. All right. Awesome. Great cause. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And uh, you know, until next time, we'll see you at the range. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range.